missed the last train, the last bus to get myself to where I was supposed to be going. So I put my bag under the bushes in front of the railway station at about one o'clock in the morning and walked around the city. I thought, oh, I've made the right decision. This is a great place to be. I heard the music and I started to get interested. And then later, I have a live, well, particularly one live show in Madrid of Carmen. Amazing. And I thought, I'm going to have to do this. <laughs> So I then started to, to learn, partly in Spain, in Malaga and Segovia, but also I had a teacher in Bristol called Jose Garcia, who lived with the gypsies in the caves in Granada and learned their style, which was very, very earthy. <laughs> I first trained under Brunelleschi in um, Bayswater. Uh, she was classical ballet, and uh, I was introduced to the Spanish classical by Antonio and his Spanish dancers. I, um, I loved it, and Antonio and his Spanish dancers used to rehearse in the University studio, so that's how I got interested in it. In the 60s, I went back to doing Spanish dancing. It was classical at the Baltics in South Kensington where I landed up in Western Superman, where I met Malcolm at Pat Elliott's Ballet School. I had a phone call from our Malcolm saying, would I like to do some Spanish dancing? I said, yeah, all right. <laughs> I went along with my castanets and shoes in my hot little hand. So I did start, and I thought, uh oh, I had to learn a completely different style. <laughs> Yeah, Sheila has, has contributed um, you know, some of the choreographies, particularly on that sort of classical yeah. and folk side. And yeah. then other people in the group also, you know, suggest things that they want to, to explore. Yeah. And so, so we have quite a range of different um, styles and, and techniques. Still got three, or actually four, of the original members of the group from 15 years ago. Yeah. Sheila yeah. and Mary. Sheila La Gorra and Mary Maria Lampa and your mother Sheila. Oh yeah, my, my stage name is Marigold Sinta. You nearly always take some sort of name. The flamenco has used some, some rather interesting names, you know, like the girl of the colour or the girl of, the, of, of art. And so we take we take those names as well. And also it sort of gets us into Spanish culture. The group started to suggest that we have a, a holiday. Alama, the first one, which Sheila Maragolfita went on, was to Alama de Granada, a small hill town near Granada, with its with amazing Arab and Moorish past, and hot baths and beautiful palaces. Oh, yeah, so that was our first trip, and it was from there that some of them started to get their names from the stage when we, when we were performing. So Sheila La Gorra, is the swimming She went swimming. So the holidays are part of the thing. And I have been. Um, so we go to different parts, Seville, Salita, Granada, uh, Segovia, Toledo, so we go to various places. Um, 
every year since uh, 2007, I think was the first one. And of course the performances, the first one, or one of the first ones rather, um, was on the back of a trailer yeah. in Brent Knoll. So a little bit different, you know, to take a flamenco group to the, the middle of the Somerset countryside on a freezing cold January night, you know, when they're, they're trying to conjure up the spirits for a good harvest for the apples and that and so on. So, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and we were on this incredibly narrow trade at five of us, I think, and I can't go for a while. We were there and went, yeah, so, the, the shows will often bring these these sorts of stories and they become part of our part of our history. The very first one was on at the Playhouse with the Jackie Fox School of Dance in World. Yeah, we did the Pulumir. Which was a very sort of earthy style, which my teacher, yeah, had probably picked up in these caves when he lived in Granada. Mm. Interesting because I mean we don't tend to get many men. Very bad. 